AITA taking away my daughter's room after she went to college? My husband and I have three kids and we live in a three-bedroom house. The youngest one used to stay in our room but this year that my daughter got accepted in college we decided to turn her bedroom into a room for our youngest we put her stuff into the basement. She came back home for a few days and when we told her she has to sleep on the sofa she blew up at us and called us assholes for taking away her room. Info. Why wasn't this explained the summer before college? So the room could be packed up whilst she was sorting through everything for college? It might have even given her a chance to prep the basement for trips home. Depending on what kind of basement you have. YTA for not communicating with your kid and for leaving out the part about your 20-year-old son who still has his room despite being in college too. Edit. Thanks for all the upvotes and awards. I have no idea what they mean. But don't spend your money on me. Donate to your local animal shelter or something smile. YTA not for repurposing the room but because you didn't discuss it with her and let her pack her own things. When I moved to college, my family made clear the expectation that I pack my room and it could be used by someone else. Discussing it with her and letting her pack just feels like common decency. Info. What's the plan for summer? Is your daughter staying home during summer break or will she have an apartment of sorts? NTA for repurposing her room. But why TA for moving her stuff without telling her and surprising her with it when she came home? Edit. Spaced out my NTA vote and switched fully to YTA after reading the older brother got to keep his room while going to college. Thank you all for so many up votes. YTA for not warning her about this. A 10 minute phone call and some tact would have saved you a mountain of grief. And I expect summer is going to be a fun time where she may have considered coming home for the summer. She will want to find another place to live since you have spiritually thrown her out of the house. Info can you repurpose the basement into another bedroom? Maybe that's the best solution? YTA. I get the youngest wanting, needing her own room. But you didn't even have the grace to tell your oldest about it. What happens when she comes home for the holidays? What about next summer? That was her room and even though she's not living there full time. There should have been a discussion about it. There's a lot of info missing here. 1. How old are the kids? 2. Is there a reason the kids couldn't share a room? 3. Did you never consider possibly asking your daughter about her opinion on it before you made the decision? There's def more that needs to be said on the living situation before making an actual decision on this. Until that info is established. Just based on what you said so far I'd go with YTA still because it seems that you didn't bother discussing with the daughter first or coming up with other solutions. The oldest daughter being away doesn't mean she doesn't deserve her own space as well because it is still her home. But the youngest also needs their own space too. Info sounds like you didn't tell her before she arrived, is that true? YTA for not telling her it was going to happen. Giving her a chance to pack up her own stuff and not have it sprung on her. YTA more due to the lack of communication. For your daughter to come home to suddenly see her things out her old room could make it seem to her that you pretty much kicked her out as now she's on her own. Yes, you didn't say it and you inform that she'll be spending the summer there. But your actions pretty much state she have no say in it and you don't respect her enough to even talk it out with her before let alone tell her before she got home. If I was in her shoes, I would question if you even love me anymore and want me to leave forever by your action. Info did you tell her first, warn her? 
YTA for not telling her any of this. Sure. Once one kid is off to college the other kids should be able to spread out and have their own space. But you need to tell the kid that she is losing her room. Where her stuff will be store. And what the plan is for when she visits. The idea that you have such poor communication skills that your daughter had no idea this was happening until she was home for a visit is ridiculous. Info. Did you talk to her about this first or did she come home to a shock? Did you tell her before she came home to visit or did you just spring that surprise on her? YTA if you did not tell her before she arrived. INFO. Pretty sure I already know the answer but just wanna check. Did you discuss with your daughter that you were going to be doing this or did you just do it after? She left without her knowledge? Edit for judgment. YTA. You didn't tell her you just did it which would pizza anyone off. The fact that her older brother got to keep his room just compounds this. What you should have done when you had a third kid was to get a bigger house with a fourth bedroom. So they could all have their own room and you could have your own room. Instead you made your youngest child share a room with her parents for years and now you're going to make your adult daughter sleep on the couch when she comes home including for her 34 month summer vacation. How can you even think this is okay? My parents did this to me. I was fine with it. Because we walked about it. Before I left for college. When I left for college. And we came up with a plan together about where I would sleep for breaks. Sounds like you did not do that. YTA. YTA for seemingly not even giving her a heads up. I would have to guess that her response to her room not being her room anymore was due to it not being discussed with her and then being blindsided with unexpectedly having to sleep on the couch. Her first visit home or her being left with the impression it would still be hers for the time being and then having the rug pulled out from under her after she left. With no further explanation in the post. I have to say YTA. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.